Our program's been brought to you by GLSP, the Kona Grand Slam, Keith Gornick, the Running Network. Hello everyone, this is Gary Morgan with the Michigan Runner, Michigan Skier, Great Lakes Sports Productions. Also, we are sponsored this time by Kona Racing uh, Productions, uh, Keith Gornick, and uh, a running network. Anyway, here in Sochi, Russia, at the Olympics, my last day here, uh, and uh, it's been a phenomenal experience. I'm here in Olympic Park. It is raining a little bit today, um, and uh, I've been up in the mountains three times to see some great events. Bob Slay, um, the um, slope style skiing where the U.S. took one, two, three last night. Uh, one of our superstars in uh, Bob Sledding took a home of bronze and I saw the women's uh, uh, snowboarding cross and then I saw a little figure skating here uh, I also saw speed skating log track for two nights and then the short track speed skating so it's been a whirlwind uh, experience also went this morning with the uh, breakfast with the World Olympians Association over with the International Olympic Committee so I've been traveling around here in the Sochi region. I'm staying in Sochi. The Olympic Park here is in Adler, and it's been a phenomenal experience. In fact, I just went up this little Audi experience going up around in this car, which was kind of fun. But this Olympic Park is phenomenal. It must be at least a square mile around. It has all the indoor venues here for skating. It had the uh, Olympic Stadium. Uh, they have for all the uh, hockey events. There's the stadium for the opening closing ceremonies. That's the ice dancing rink. That's the hockey tournament. Hockey arena. And this is the medal ceremonies stage and the Olympic flame. This is pretty impressive out here at night. All these lights all over the place. Wow, short track speed skating way over there. This is pretty impressive. This a huge exhibition center way over there. It's showing all the different regions of Russia. And um, I went through there. This is a phenomenal country, and they showed all the touristic spots you could go through Russia. I'd like to take the Trans-Siberian Railway someday, but, uh, you know, that'll be down the road. It's uh, my second trip here in Russia in the last six months. It'll be a while before I come back. But uh, also here at this Olympic Park, uh, people come into it, you know, just to see the whole park. And the Olympic Flame, which is way over the way here, you can't see it here, quite here from this spot. We have palm trees here. It's a little sub, uh, subtropical, but uh, it's been in the 70s during uh, the sunny days. Up in the mountains, it was still in the 60s. We're going through a big warm spell here. It's been some phenomenal experience here, meeting uh, lots of different people from all over the planet. This turned into a phenomenal experience with just a railway trip up to the mountains every the three times is up there. Being up there at the evening, watching the bobsleigh was a, a great experience. Being up there at night, and it didn't get real cold. Still in the 40s, so that was pretty cool. I got to see the top of the track to the bottom, which I've never been able to do. And I went to ice dancing. Forgot to throw that one in there when they did the short dance. And... Uh, our Michigan phenomenal couple, uh, Charlie White and Merle Davis, they brought home the Olympic gold medal in dancing, ice dancing. So it's been a great experience here, and I would highly recommend if you ever have a chance to come to Russia, you would love it here. There's a lot of cool stuff. So they have World Cup in four years, some of you soccer fans, and this whole area is going to be turned into a Grand Prix Formula One race um, race car track after this is done along with the stadium here it's going to be used for world cup uh, soccer in four years so they're making this a major sports uh, arena for future use well this is gary morgan from sochi russia here with great lake sports productions